Welcome to Alhambra. This is supposed to be an exceptionally beautiful place that you can spend hours in. I talked to people yesterday who went and spent five hours here. It's funny because the entrance actually looks pretty nondescript and I'm walking through this kind of nice tree-lined section to get to the Nazri palaces because I got my tickets for 10.30 in the morning and the time printed on your ticket is actually the time you have to be at the palace, the Nazri palaces specifically. Otherwise, you can just wander the grounds all day long and the views of the city that I am seeing from here look awesome. First you wait in line for your time on your ticket to come up and then you wait in another line for them to check your ticket again. <laughs> Called the Meshuar. So once you complete your tour of the Nazri Palace, you then have the entire rest of the Alhambra to check out, which is enormous. I guess my next plan is to just wander around aimlessly because I wasn't given a map when I came in and I forgot to grab one. I have a feeling it's pretty easy to get lost. <laughs> Entering the Okataba. This is essentially a citadel. Plenty of people. <laughs> Ooh, so, this is the old military district and is essentially a neighborhood where the military lived that protected Alhambra. So I can certainly see why some of the people I met yesterday decided to spend five hours here. I've been here for maybe three hours. The place is amazing. You can definitely, you want to take an entire day if you can to spend here. But I need to get back to my hotel, do some work this afternoon, take a nap, and then I have booked myself a facial and massage this evening at my hotel before I go out my last night in Granada. It's Friday, so you should be able to have some fun. And tomorrow I drive five hours to Valencia. So thank you for joining me and stay tuned for more of my trip. Hasta luego. When you leave Alhambra, if you're able to, 
I highly recommend walking down the winding road that takes you back into the city because it is extremely tranquil. And since there's been a lot of rain, there's a lot of water running and it sounds so pretty and quiet out here.